What's up, Diecast Gang? It's your boy KG. Back in another video. Hope everybody having a blessed day. Guys, today is the day. We've been waiting for today is the day I'm gonna do the drawing. I'm posting this video up earlier today. It's uh December the 9th, Thursday. Uh I'll be going live at 7 o'clock p.m. on my Facebook channel. Uh guys, you can uh log in on my Facebook page. I wanted to put a warning video out today. Uh, let you guys know and invite you guys to join the lab, but I couldn't figure out how to do it I'm still a little computer savvy. I'm, I'm not you know, I'm learning a little little by little I tried it early. I couldn't figure it out. So I got aggravated with it, but By next time I do my next giveaway. I'm gonna try to have all that that together guys. So Besides that I didn't mention it like four or five times on my video and I'm going live Thursday the 9th at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time so Hope everybody log in, as many of you guys as possible. And good luck to all the contestants and everybody who entered the giveaway. Right now, tonight, guys, I have a treat for you. Well, today, hopefully watching this video early in the day. I did a little shopping earlier before I stopped and went to work. I have some new pieces I want to show you guys. We're going to do an unboxing. Alrighty, guys, check it out. Picked up quite a bit today. I'm going to do a little something different today. Uh, I got some 1 in 64 scale here on the table in front of me. And I also picked up like, I picked up 7 1 in 24 scale. Now I'm not going to unbox the uh, 1 in 64 scale models. I'm just going to unbox the 1 in 24 scale. But I'm going to do one by one. I'm not going to show you. Usually I put, just put them all on the table and show you what I got. I unbox them. This time I'm going to build up the momentum and just uh, open up one at a time and show you each one, one at a time. So, first getting over these um, 1 in 64 scales. Um, I found these at Target. Not bad. Punch buggy. Slug bug. Uh, they got a few different ones. I never picked these up. This is my first time. I'm just getting into 1 in 64 scale, so I feel like these would be nice to have in the collection. A few busters. They're pretty basic. They don't have any, um, like the wheels is really basic. I don't think anything opens on them. Besides th this one, looks like the hood opens. Not sure. This one's pretty dope. But they got a series of different ones. I'm missing maybe like all or most of the, um, the bugs. As you can see, this is the only one I got. I'm missing these two bugs. And um, it's a yellow bug on this one. The Beetle, the, the Volkswagen Beetle. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to, if I find them, I'll pick them up. And the rest of the buses. But yeah, I just want to show you guys the, them. I also picked up this Auto World at Target. Right here, we got a 1966 Chevy Suburban from the Muscle Truck Series. It's one out of 14,600. Alrighty guys, up first, I got this 18, 1983 GMC Vendor Sand. Very nice. I used to uh, watch the 18 back when I was a little kid, so this is definitely a, like a must-have. I passed on it actually a couple of times because the scale size is a bit tad smaller than the Jada models. This right here is a green light, Hollywood rags. So, I'm going to get this out the box, take a closer look at it. Alright, gang. Check it out. Lights on. All right. Glad I picked this one up, guys. It looks really nicely detailed. 
trying to get the camera to focus better there. So it's in and out. Nice man. The only thing opens is the two front doors. Size doesn't open. Overall, to me, it's very nice. Very nicely detailed. Very nice quality. Got a nice little weight to it. That's my green light. Um, GMC Bandura. <laughs> Love that. So, uh, that's going to be the first one. Not to mention, guys, we should give a shout out to the JTG, Jada Toys Gang. It's a Facebook group. On Facebook, if you're into collecting uh, anything Jada, Jada brand, any scale, we have a Facebook group uh, hosted by your boy, Jarek Farron. I'm an admin over there. Um, very nice group to be in, guys. So I just want to shout that out real quick because everything we unboxing, other than this uh, Bandura, is going to be Jada models. So, shout out to you, you guys over there at JTG. I also have my own Facebook group um, called Diecast and Diorama Creations. Creations with a K. Uh, over on my channel, on my Facebook group, I, I have all, you can post any type type of uh, diecast over on my page. Um, also, we do dioramas. I'm trying to encourage people that build dioramas to get involved in my page. I haven't really uh, put more, much, much time into my, to my group yet, but I will be getting into that, guys. So, that's my Vendura, and moving on to the next one. Okay, up next, got the Back to the Future time machine. This is the original from the original movie. I picked this up. Um, I already had one of them. If you look on the back of the box, I have this one already from Back to the Future 3. That's this one in the box that I have. I don't have the one from Back to the Future 2. The one with the wheels to flip up. I'll be on the lookout for that one. And fun fact, this one right here from Back to the Future 3, the, the train series one, this one is an unreleased. We might release it later. I'm not sure. But a lot of people been looking for that one. I know that for a fact, but... Uh, Pick this up. We're gonna get it out the box, guys. I'm gonna show it to you as soon as I get it out the box. All right, guys, got that bad boy out the box. Oh, so sexy! Got that hook on it. Put my hook on from out the box. Out of time on the back. <clears throat> Doors go up. Probably gonna be a long video, guys, but just bear with me. Trying to, sh you know, just give you guys a good, good showing. Lights up if you press this little button right here in the back. Just to show you my other one real fast. It's the one I already have. It's a different plate. Which I can't even make that out without even looking looking at the inside the camera. This one lights up also. So yeah, I got my two DeLoreans. Let's gonna add that, that third one. 
Oh man, I almost showed you all all the cars. <laughs> okay. Up next. Pick this up today. Ram charger. Dodge charger ninety six nine. Um pretty dope. I kinda like this one. This will make probably my fourth or fifth one in the collection with the wing same year so let's get it out the box all right just like that we got it out the box Sturdy. just say it's big time muscle on the plate I don't want to focus. But yeah, it's a pretty nice model. Doors open. Hood opens. First time looking under there, so. Looks pretty good. I say this is this is a pretty nice one. I'm glad I picked this one up. Alrighty. Let's see what we got up next. O five four GT. I like this one. Let's get this one out the box. All right, just like that diecast game, we got got him out the box. Oh, what looking oh so sexy! So this is only my second. This is only my second Ford GT in the two thousand five year in my collection. That head piece. I think the front, everything opens on this one. I believe. Take the tape off. Let's try to open it up for you. Let's get it open. It's a really badass model. I like this one. That fix the tires. I uh, really like this one. Kind of not digging the circle on the door, but I think they put that on there for the purpose of, you, I guess you can add your own number, your own custom number onto the car if you like. I know I could uh, possibly take this off with either some uh, acetone or some gooby gone. Just wipe it and it should just come right off the circle if I wanted to, if I wanted to take it off, but I don't know. Looks really nice. Show you my other Ford GT. It's right up here. This is the only other Ford GT I had in my collection. Um, it's pretty dusty. But, you know, same deal. It's nice. So now I have two Ford GTs. I got the uh, the, the newer ones. I got about three of the the newer ones. Up next, Yodi. Saint this fifty one Mercury. I got like three other ones in, in the collection. You know, uh, one of them was without the skirts and without the the lights at the top of them. This one is dope. I like the color of this one. 
Let me get it out the box. Give you guys a closer look. You guys, here she is. Wow, she is tucked. Man. Can't even see them back wheels. But first time opening the hood. Bonkers. It's nasty. I like it. I like it. So that's my new Merc to add to the collection. Just gonna get on through it. I say the last two, the best for last. Found this puppy in the store. I was on a hunt for this. Another one that I was on a hunt for was that 67 Impala. The maroon with the with the uh, wire wheels on it. I'm on a hunt. I'm looking everywhere for that one. I haven't been able to find it. But usually when I have one set on my mind, I never find it. It's, it's, it's crazy. So I um, definitely was looking for this one. Get it out the box. And here she is. Really digging this one, guys. Yep, really digging this one. Just wanted to give you guys a good view. Now, with this 1957 Chevy Corvette. Mickey Thompson edition. I was on the hunt for this one because I already had the other two Mickey Thompsons. I found this one. This one I knew about first. I grabbed it shortly thereafter. I found out about this one. Got lucky and found it in the store. I had to have it. Now I'm lucky enough to find a Corvette. So, if there's any more out there that I don't know of, let me know down in the comments. But I think I got all of them now. I'm happy. Just want to show you guys that. All of them got Mickey Thompson on, so I like I like that. Last but not least, guys. Found this today, 1989 Ford Mustang GT. Well, it'll be yesterday when you guys see this video. But, just today when I'm recording it. Uh, a lot of people been on the hunt for this. I was on the hunt for it, so let's get it out the box. All right, here she is. Pretty good. Got a highway drag on it. The decals on the side. 44 in the, in the window. It says to race and to win on the back. The focus, it says catch me if you can. Big time muscle, there you go. Doors open. Do it 
offers. Like it has roll cage in it. Real nice. I like this one. Brought my other fox body out to compliment it. Her compliments itself. I ain't want to bring all of them out. I also got the the blue and the matte black. Fox body, so that will make I will have now four all together. This is my collection. That's my new update, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a quick review. Do a lower end. First, the first one was the GMC eighteen white car in the back charger. Ford GT over in the corner. Got the Mercury Corvette. Last but not least, got my Fox body. Highway drag. So that completes my today's shopping, guys. Sometimes I just go in the store and do like that and just buy, buy off a bunch of cars. But I got some nice ones this time. Like I said before, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please tune in to if anybody um, that's in the giveaway that's watching this video. It's tonight. Please tune in. Uh, it's going to be live on Facebook, 7 o'clock Central Time. It's uh, probably the last, time, last chance I'm going to get to say it. Good luck to all the contestants. And if you uh, watch me for the first time, you know, hit that subscribe button. I do giveaways every hundred subscribers until I reach a thousand. Um, I gotta mention that I got the seven hundred challenge still going on. I got a twenty-two piece M two set that I want to give away if I hit seven hundred subscribers before my birthday, which is kind of far fetched, but you know anything is possible. And I said if I don't hit that number by my birthday, I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna do an unboxing of the complete M two set. There's gonna be more stuff in the giveaway. It's gonna be more stuff to give away later. But thanks again, everybody, for watching. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.